If you look in the past at something like Emery, which is like a really big success story for the Montreal police, the only criticism uh, ever ever seems to be, well, there's not enough. We need more. Uh, now um, we're going to see 54 agents trained to be specifically to be a mental health crisis uh, interventionist specialist, and you're going to see more and more training in that kind of thing. Is this is this a way to take a program that works? and apply it to the rest of the police force? Yes, it's kind of a best, best practice that we try to expand and share on the other ways of doing things because you have Emery and you have also EZUP, which is based on almost on the same approach, which is a mix of police officers and uh, people from the c s So it's uh, a way of doing it with already with you, the good person with the expertise that can help you to take charge fast and also you can refer the person to the good place right away which is very important and uh, that way also you make sure that you have the expertise on the spot just in time so it's a way of doing uh, uh, a better uh, intervention like a uh, better approach now now um, a lot of the, uh, the the possible trouble there's been in the past between people who are in a crisis situation uh, because of uh, whatever mental affliction they have and the police do you feel that perhaps that's a reflection of maybe society at large and some of the misunderstandings that we have about, or maybe some of the ignorance that all of us have about a person with a mental illness, or a, and and has this whole process perhaps taught all of you something? You know, have you have you learned a lot about mental illness throughout this uh, this process? Since 2003, 2003, we have a, a person in really completely uh, uh, doing this uh, this job full time. So. Uh, Michael Arruda helped us to understand more these uh, challenges related to uh, those people and this is why we're trying to put more and more and more knowledge and also share our practice with the, uh, the network of the partnership with all the people here tonight. We need to uh, have a more uh, understanding of those people and how so, how can we manage that when we do an intervention, absolutely, you're right when you see that. Now, it's obviously a, a very, often a very sad situation, a very tragic situation. I, I imagine back to your own days as a, as a patrol officer, you must remember situations where you, you were called to the scene and there was this crisis and perhaps you don't understand what's going on. Can you maybe speak to us a little bit about that, about your own well, memories? With of course, since the last 10 and 20 years, we saw an increase of the uh, let's say competencies of the police officer in this kind of uh, situation. Uh, I was personally uh, right after the Affaire Bernabé at the uh, Station 44 as a lieutenant. This is way, where I started to work with the uh, Pinel and uh, doctors to try to find a way how can we intervene in a better way when you have people in a uh, delirium like that, delirium agité. So, uh, of course, we saw an increase of the uh, knowledge and the way of doing things about yeah. that. Uh, moving forward, I, I guess, um, how has the partnership been with the C3S and the different social workers and stuff like that? Very good. Yeah? It's, yeah, when you see the mixed team that we uh, already have now, they appreciate themselves and uh, they like to work together because with their expertise and sharing their expertise is so important. This is all about that. So when you have those people right together working and doing an intervention and after that you can make sure that the, pre the person will be referred to the good place and take in charge for the uh, mid-term and long-term. Sometimes you have crisis, but after the crisis, how can you make sure that this crisis won't happen again or can you have a better uh, way of doing it? And since five months, with the EZUP, the new team, we already have 500 something calls, which is a lot. This is 500 calls that we already have take charge. And in most of those calls, I imagine that people are referred to uh, C3S or a Absolutely. worker. Or... Yes. And, and have you seen uh, perhaps a, a bit of a change in some of your officers and the way they approach it? Of course, because when you have the knowledge, you have the approach and you can practice, you can do simulation you're going to be better and uh, know how to manage that. Excellent. Well, thank, thank you.